What's up, guys? This is DWP Universe, and this is going to be where I finally catch up to Star Wars for you. But without further ado, I'm not going to waste any time with this. We're going to talk about whatever the heck I'm going to get myself into, because this is apparently when a metaphorical, a metaphorical feces hits the metaphorical fan that's currently in the metaphorical area of where we metaphorically are. Let's go. Three, two, one, now. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right, let's talk about this. All right, for, for what I got, what I got to see, excellently handled, and the buildup was perfect. The amount of buildup involving how the wand was being glitched out due to her negative emotions, how she, it, how, how the constant buildup, especially from the, especially from the episode of Truth to Their uh, Their stuff, it was great setup for this final conclusion of what in what cast, what most would kind of expect to sort of see. Star finally realizing that her feelings toward Marco is something more than just average friends on an everyday basis that she can just ditch him every now and then for a, 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 a seance for a dead clown. Which again, rip Bon Bon's soul. He did not deserve what he got. Anyway. <sighs> Alright. What they did with Jackie here. I like I like uh, what they did with Jackie and Marco. I like how Marco and Jackie are now actually an actual couple and I hope to see more of that into the series, even though it clearly it, it hurt Star deep inside in, in a way that she herself can't understand. As for what what she did, what she did, all right, she almost pretty much she she almost did the same. She pretty much did the same thing that she was trying to do to Ludo the first time, just set him into a dark abyss void, floating toward nothing, floor toward no, uh, floating to nothing, uh, floating uh, at nothing, and stuff like that. And then, and then due to seeing them just together, even with a dire scenario of fighting off a villain that she knows is now a threat, the negative emotions came in anyway and reversed it on her and almost backfired. Thanks to everything, she was saved, thank God, because if they would have did that to me, I... Ooh. Ooh, okay. Uh, now that Glosser is with uh, Ludo. Now, I, I have just like this one thing I gotta say about Glosser. I'm pretty sure he's bound to the book, and whoever has the book, he has to serve and whatnot. But I'm pretty sure, but Glosserick is not an idiot. He, he he knows what he has to do. Probably has some sort of a plan taken up. If not, he he has just if he's just gonna be like this for whatever Ludo's going to do until they get him back. Whatever. I believe in Glo. After seeing the, the the episode where he he is being the greatest teacher, he's trying to be. I, I believe in him a lot more than I would have when I first saw the dude. So I I don't know what he's gonna be doing, but I I believe that it's gonna be something involved plans hopefully so yeah uh, uh, okay okay I I suspected this would happen I suspect this would happen I, I I don't know I don't remember which episode I put up the theory but I already put up a theory that if 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 Jackie and marker were gonna be a thing I want to see how star would react to this and her reacting to it in this way was like the thing I didn't want to happen but also was kind of expecting to happen due to story-related elements and how I know uh, how I view Star as a character, and how uh, how I see her uh, viewing Marco, especially with all the things they've been through. So, yeah, all right. Episode episode on itself. It's it's a great it's a great end off to what what is now a hiatus of the rest of the season. I could go on Wikipedia and look up how many episodes are left, but that would spoil the titles for me. Well, in which case it doesn't really. Well, as for me, who gets episodes and don't really look at the titles to begin with and don't even look at the titles even if they show up in the episode, it, it, it would be detrimental to me and my blind reaction is because I can probably uh, infer something if, you know, if you're like My Lord Pony who literally has, like, the, the titles in, in is so bl bl broad in, in the statement of what the title, you're, you're going to know what you're going to be expecting in it. It, it. It's pretty like that. So, oh, God. Series as a whole, in the first season you got Ludo, and it's pretty much like a like a, a series with random occurrences and maybe the occasional main villain that will do something, aka Toffee, having its own agenda and stuff like that. And then in season two, it really had a good overarching narrative where it had a whole bunch of things with character development and character motivations that really sparked up into a, a, an unprecedented degree. Having Ludo be uh, be a liter like this. This little shrimp, this dark lord chuckles, this silly piggy ripoff, uh, 
uh, sort of dude just trying his best, trying to be evil, but he's not really doing that good of a job, letting most of his henchmen do most of the work and not doing much of that, to evolve into to, to an actual threat, a dictator that goes off, and if you mess with him, he will come back, he will Dan versus you to hell. He, he, you wrong him, he will scream out your name in the heavens, and then you will regret you ever even cross paths with him. You'll become his servant, and you'll even become a, a, a asset to his cause. Because then, after everything's grown up, he will get so many resources that it's good just to work for him. Some people were even scared of him to, just to work with him, and he actually has loyalty on his side. It's, that's what really shocks me when it comes to Ludo. Now, as for what's going on with Star, I want to see how Star is going to hand, handle this newfound relationship that Marco and Jackie are not going through. I'm happy they didn't flake on the relationship standpoint when it comes to uh, Marco and Jackie. They actually shared a kiss. They really do share sentimental feelings for each other. I even like the part where Jackie just tallied off all the mistakes Marco has made toward her. Meaning that from the very beginning, when they were in third grade, she already knew Marco had a thing for her. He just she's just trying to see how far he can go until he she he is used to her. That's like I think that's what she was going with. Like she couldn't just like go off of whatever he was. He's so nervous that he, he, that he's kind of like hurting himself in the matter. And now he's finally reached that line where he's a dude that knows what he needs to do. I like that. It's good. I love Jackie. I like I actually like Jackie even more than most other female characters I've seen in most most times. It's good works out and yeah it, it, all this was great all this is great this was this has been uh, a, a great series can i say it's better than gravity falls can i say it's on par with gravity falls as for me i'm never really much of a critic when it comes to this sort of things a show's a show as long as it's entertaining to me so I, all i have to say when it comes to star vs. force of evil and how uh comparative it is to other shows and mediums i gotta say it has done a lot better than most so that's about as much as i can say to that how did you enjoy the ride here? Uh, uh, that's also a good thing to ask for those of you who care. And I got some other things I got to get into. Uh, beta beta week. I don't know. Uh, probably beta week should come up uh, as soon as this episode is posted out tomorrow. Like, you know, like tomorrow. When do you see this? Tomorrow should be beta week. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. Maybe I might start it on a Monday. Who, who knows? Uh, I, even I don't. So I don't know. Uh, but Beta Week will it, it, it include, uh, hold on, let me see, uh, Loud House, Milo Murphy's, Milo's Murphy's Law, Justice League Action, the new Ben 10 reboot, and, uh, Wander Over Yonder. I will be doing reactions to those shows throughout the week, and you guys pick which one I should mostly put most of my time into. If you, you, uh, something like Milo's Murphy's Law, if you actually, if you guys actually do like those reactions, which in my personal opinion, I didn't really like them when I was, not, not the show, like my reactions toward the show. Uh, if you guys do not like that, and if you do like them, and I have to watch Milo's Murphy's Law as a more annual thing, it, the, the episodes are not really like packed yet, unlike Justice League action is. So like getting to that will be, you know, the, the second best thing I will get to, that sort of thing. So. Yeah, uh, can't wait until the next uh, episodes of Star Wars Force will come out. Knowing you guys, you will be sure to remind me uh, when a new episode comes out, much like everything else that comes out on my schedule. So, yeah, I think that's all I got to really say, you know. Uh, I I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed this. I really, I, it, towards the end, I didn't know how they are going to end it, considering I don't know, I don't know anything else than, other than that it's on hiatus. It, it could have been like it. The thing that they did with Adventure Time, where uh, uh, Finn and Jake got pulled into a portal or went into a portal to stop the Lich from doing stuff, and that was the end of that season and heading off into a new season. I didn't know what to expect. I thought they went to another reality or something or something like that. I didn't know they'll come back like two episodes later or an episode later or something. So it was, uh, whatever. Good. Good, none good nonetheless. It's just, it's just, do you want to be universal? I'll see you guys like, next time. Bye.